Welcome back to another video, everyone. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna be looking at the new car models, as you could see in the uh, showreel I just played. Uh, and the other thing I, I want to do is just kind of look at the uh, new metallic material and just kind of walk through that quickly um, and why I think it's a, a good change. So um, before, while there were new cars, I think that got added in Lumion 9 or Lumion 10, uh, they were really good, but you could only change the color. Um, Car paint is not just like one static. It, it doesn't just change color and then the gloss is all the same. So it is good that not only can you um, kind of mix up the colors now, but you can also mix up the um, how metallic something is. So I'll just throw on the real skies for a second uh, and I'll see if I can get uh, a decent. I just need a decent one to show the. I just want to see the sun in the hood there. Okay, so there's kind of a good angle. Okay, so if I come in to one of the cars here and I'll turn the metallic all the way up, or maybe I'll just put it at like 0.5. That is another thing that was really nice about what they did with this is that it's not just an on or off button. Uh, if you go all the way to one, then it is like a metallic metal, but it seems like if you just put it at like 0.3 or 0.4, all it's going to do is increase the glossiness. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have this full on metal look, but you can make your cars pop a little bit more. Um, so what you can see with this though is that um, let me just see if I go something like that. So here at 0.4, if I go into the weather and just change it, you can see that on this car, um, you do get a reflection in, of the sun, but it's like a very small sphere. Um, and what it does is when you bring it over to this side, you can see that the, the sphere is kind of, um, like more rounded out and it's bigger. Like there's more of a reflection on it. Um, and so, yeah, that, it just makes it so the cars can interact a little bit more with their surroundings. Um, it's easier to get the reflections on it. The other thing I recommend you do is if you're ever doing like a, uh, like a show reel or something like that for cars, um, a lot of people may know this, but just for those of you that don't, uh, if you drop a reflection, uh, cube in, uh, this is called reflection control, sorry. Then as soon as I hit it, watch what happens, uh, with the reflections. So what this is effectively doing is this is just telling Lumion like a little bit of information about the reflections. Um, and so it helps kind of remove a lot of that, like this, that weird blue sky reflection. So if I lift it up a little bit more, you can see, like, I, I believe the best way to describe it is that it just kind of tells Lumion like where these reflections should be coming from. And if that information isn't in there, what ends up happening is it just either reflects like the sky or the ground. And that's why you either get light blue or green uh, reflections. But anyways, yeah, the, um, the the patch also uh, came out with some trucks, which was kind of cool um, because there wasn't many in there. So if you actually just come in here and type new, you can see all of them. Um, and for some reason, I find this one comes in a little bit small. So you can just hit L, bring that up a little bit, and we'll make that metallic. Um, but yeah, no, this is just a, a, just a quick video where I kind of wanted to run through that. I did think this was a neat change. Um, it kind of, uh, I feel like it sort of flew under the radar because it wasn't like a huge change, but it is something that will help, um, especially with close-up shots. Like, I, I don't claim to be that great at making animations in Lumion, uh, but it was a lot easier to make the one uh, at the beginning of the video, just having more control over the gloss and having a bit more reflections to kind of make it uh, pop more. But yeah, uh, this was just a quick one, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been checking out the channel lately. It's been a lot of fun making videos. Uh, I'm aiming to release another one or two videos tomorrow, uh, but in the next couple of days, I'll probably um, transition away from making the new Lumion 11 features and just go back to making uh, a couple cool ones. Uh, I still need to make the surface imperfections one, um, and there's also a um, a little trick that I've been doing that that helps with displacement where you effectively just make mesh to bring into Lumion, but Lumion will actually treat it differently if you don't use a displacement map and you actually have the mesh displacement. So um, hopefully you guys will stick around for that one and I'll see you there.